Hello and welcome to Sharing Your Great Practice. Now this week we're in Manchester at the Lancasterian School where they've been using wheelchair dance in a really inspirational way. Behind me you can see some of the many awards that they've won for dance. Fresh from their championship ballroom dance performance in Blackpool, this is the wheelchair dance club at the school. The wheelchair dance team is made up from pupils from foundation stage, so we start as young as four, and we work all the way up to 16 years old when the children actually leave school. We uh, have children who have cerebral palsy as our main um, pupil candidate that come to the wheelchair dance team. We have muscular dystrophy. A lot of the muscular dystrophy find it really useful because a lot of their body is degenerating and they find it hard to actually um, do other skills and join in other games where dancing is something they can still actually join in and enjoy and achieve at. Inclusion was one of the most important reasons for setting up this club. Dance is a form of expression so any child can take part, be they in a wheelchair, with a rollator, independent but with, with some physical uh, difficulties. So. There is no barrier. I think the barrier is whether you've not got the imagination and the staff and the support with which to say, no, we'll do it this way. We'll, we'll find a way around that. So there are no barriers. There's only, the only one is, is your own limitation of, of imagination. I love dancing. I like the cha-cha-cha. It shows how much you can do and it just shows that um, other people who like stare and being nasty to you that we can actually do something. It's a way of building the children's self-esteem, boosting their actual actual sort of self-confidence that you can kind of see maybe have children at the start of the year who maybe haven't participated in the wheelchair dancing but have taken part in the curriculum dance actually joining with the other children across all of our school and their self-esteem grows and grows and grows and a sense of achievement. And the benefits are also seen by teachers across the curriculum. They learn things like memory skills, they're learning sequencing, so it all goes in the whole curriculum of learning and just working as team members builds that self-esteem and that team spirit together really and, and cooperation and skills they need for when they go out into the future of how to communicate with others and how to deal with other people. It makes, makes all of our children realise and the actual staff realise that there's no real barriers to achieving and to learning and to any sort of success really and that if you can achieve with PE and dance and sport that you can achieve with your maths and your English and it has a real sort of positive knock-on effect. It's also built on and helped to improve communication skills. How does it make you feel? Good. Good. Where? What would your advice be to other young students around Britain who m use wheelchairs? You believe yourself. You believe in yourself. The school also opens its doors to children across Manchester who are wheelchair users so that they can benefit from enjoying wheelchair dancing. We started off originally based here at Lancaster in school but what we have is we have an outreach programme for a lot of our pupils so they actually when they're in their mainstream schools they don't have a lot of wheelchair users in their schools so it's very hard for them to access and they're trying to access a mainstream curriculum. So we transport them all back here for the afternoon and they continue to dance with colleagues and friends who they've danced with previously. You don't have to build towards being a world champion. You can just take part and just have fun. A lot of it you'll find, as we found here, is actually led by the children. That we kind of start out with our, with, you know, with our ideas about what they should do and how, how they should dance and how they should move. And pretty much it's actually taken over by the children and we can take that step back and have it led by them. And I think the real like, sort of pleasure is actually seeing the happiness and joy it brings to all of all of our children here at our school. So if you're interested in offering wheelchair dance at your school, here are some top tips from the staff and pupils at this school. Build bridges with specialist schools in your area so that you can speak to their teachers to learn how best to set up the activity. And there are wheelchair dance associations across Britain that can advise you. Listen to what the children want and take your lead from that. If you're the head teacher at a school with maybe one or two pupils who are wheelchair users, it might be worth exploring whether you can link up with other schools in your area. To find out more about sharing your great practice, visit the Teachers TV website.